The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, what is it? We don't know. The Gun Shop Show, the Gun Shop Show, here we go, it's the Gun Shop Show. Welcome to the Gun Shop Show, I'm your host, Logan Jones, no yes, Eli is. this week again. <coughs> Excuse you me. You all right there, buddy? Yeah, I mean, there. hey, it's a pretty emotional time. I don't know. Yeah, we got the Olympics going on. Going on. Olympics are show. going on. Olympics are developing somewhat of a controversy. You know um, what? Because of yeah. Mrs. Biles. Well, I haven't Ms. been following Biles. all that. Mrs. Biles, is she married? I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I will say this new band name, Olymp Biscuit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay. Not really into it. <laughs> but uh, nice try. Seems, like the show all, seems like there's already a band with a name close to that. Yeah, I feel there like, is. But I feel like there is. I yeah, like but there is. Uh, you know, plenty of bands do that stuff. Yeah. Sure. Uh, those beautiful, wonderful voices you're hearing are my co-hosts. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the man that uh, makes it all happen, pushes the buttons. That is the one, the only Trevor Smith. That's right. Looking smart today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There he is, looking Trevor. S- how, SMRT. Trevor, how are you doing today? I'm feeling SMRT. Good. That's what we like. That's mm-hmm. what we like. And the other person that we have on the show, the, he's been kind of a regular now. Yeah, and turning into a real. We're going to have to change that up though, because yep. he is turning into a diva, <laughs> and, and that is Alan Snow. <laughs> Smoochable lips. Look at that. I feel like I probably should have drug that mm-hmm. ending out at least another five to ten And seconds. in yeah. honor of the Olympics, let's throw to Alan. He decided to wear his yeah. American flag attire. Yeah, that's and right. Red, not only red, that. Red, white, and blue. Mm-hmm. Not only red, that. Red, white, and blue, baby. Looking awfully camouflaged with that backdrop yeah, that's today. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Looking good. Uh, Logan. Yeah. You, I. What? It, huh? Oh, oh. No. That was back in the day, my friend. Yeah, that's no back when you were that. you were a young one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you, you grew your now hair I'm out. Old and grizzled. Yep. Yeah. I've learned. I've seen some things. I've your skin's a lot. flakier too. Uh, nope. Which, by the way, you should Not probably true. start using some lotion. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Yes. Your hair's extra oily, but your skin is extra dry. Yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> hey, let's let's okay. talk some more about the Olympics. Man. What do, what do you, you want to talk did, about the Olympics? Did you guys watch? Did you guys watch the shooting the other night? The ski I did shooting. Not. So, so the, the oldest, at, the oldest competitor mm-hmm. in the Olympics was a shooter. Mm-hmm. I believe he was sixty nine years old. Wow, sixty nine got mm-hmm. fourth place. So there is still. So you're hope. telling me that there's, there's still hope, Logan? That wow, you could Good. make the Olympics. Logan can I'm, do anything. I've been working really hard to do it. Yeah. What I do want to point out is that America won gold, baby. We won in the shooting and stuff. Shooting yeah. better. Men's, we better I think men's, men's and, and women. women. That's and right. America, didn't, baby. Didn't the what was her name? I should know this. Uh, she Simone, set a world record, correct? Simone no, not her, not her. Uh, Johnson. Um, uh, Sally Ryder. But she set a world record. Is that correct? I believe so. You know, if only we had the power of the internet, guys. I know. I wish. You know, maybe we could look stuff up. Which the nice thing about shooting is that um, it's a skill set that you can practice and get better at, and it doesn't require necessarily a lot of like working out. It's just practice. You just shoot a shoot a bunch. Well, I mean, it does take some with training. Any, with uh, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, we went out today, and but I was I, like, I'm, I'm more, shooting too good. I'm more saying like you can be older and still do. Exceptional, right? Right? Yeah. Like you, this, well, there was a lady uh, that uh, I've seen her about five or six times on mm-hmm. Reddit lately, who's been at thirty. No, not thirty-two. Sorry, over the last thirty-two years, I think she's been in the Olympics. Oh, the gymnast. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, seriously? Yeah. yeah. She. This wow. is her. La- this was her last time to compete. She didn't qualify for any of the individual. Mm whatever they call them, apparatus. But she went or, out there and got it. But yeah, she was 40... 40 something. I yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. Wow. So eight From Olympics. Like one of those Govia countries. You know, like yeah, some Govia. Uh, Uzbekistan, I believe. Yeah. Uzbekistan? Yeah, Oksana Chaksofatina. You guys That's didn't know I spoke fluent uh, Uzbek. I don't really mm. bring that out too often. No. But yeah, she's been in eight Olympics. So over the past 32 years, she's wow. competed. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's impressive. So, I, you know, as we get older, well, I say as mm-hmm. we get older, as I get older, I notice that there are things that people are able to do for much longer. And this is one of those things that I thought was pretty awesome to think that somebody could do the Olympics for, for sure. 32 years of their life, basically well, make a career out of it. What I figured is mm-hmm. she 
must be from a country that doesn't have very many gymnasts, you know? Yeah. Because I don't I don't <laughs> right. think I don't think in the US, I don't think, you know, once you hit like twenty five, thirty you're pretty much you're done and you're done well in it's just gymnastics because we have so many young ones coming. it's just up. so strenuous on your body that mm-hmm. around that time about 30 30 ish it's just mm-hmm. your body's pretty much just done yeah right like yeah, just, things start going down yeah little hair starts growing in places you were like hair grows and it's there? just so dangerous yeah. the older you get the harder it is to do which is more risk to you and at a certain point it's just not worth it yeah and then there's probably more money in like uh nike and yeah advertisements and, and whatnot so sure. it, does the name amber english mean anything to you guys yeah mm-hmm. is yeah. that the lady that, that you're talking the about shooter. yeah oh yeah. okay yeah i'm pretty she, sure she set a world record hey guys you think she put any english on those shots mm-hmm yeah, ba bum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Hey, well, if my all- jokes are successful, <laughs> then I'm not doing them right. Yeah, touche. But <laughs> Vincent Vincent was the US shooter's Oh, name. I guess I could look up the mail, mm-hmm. huh? Uh equal opportunity. He, he shot, I believe, one ninety nine out of two hundred. Man, that's a lot of Which shooting. One ninety nine. That is a lot of shooting. shooting. I believe uh, I'd call mm-hmm. that second place myself. <laughs> yeah, he did miss that <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> What a <laughs> average. Yeah. In honor of the Olympics, we decided to uh, take some shotguns out and do some ski shooting. Oh, yeah. We Just for did. funsies. Yeah. For funsies. Test some so, shotguns out, have some fun. What was the, did, how am I going to look this guy up? What did he win? Uh, it's the Olympic shooting. Olympic mm-hmm. shooting. Okay. I've got uh, American Olympic male shooting. Yep. What else? There you go. Vincent. I Vincent. Is his first Vincent name. Hancock. Vincent there Hancock. you go. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a stage name to me, folks. It probably is. Mm-hmm. Going to be a shooter. What and do have you want? Something Hancock? more like Shooter McGavin. Uh, that's oh, yeah. that's too yeah. obvious, in mm-hmm. my opinion. I would say Vincent Hancock. Less, you know, you got that prestige with Vincent. I would say try Vincent, never miss, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, try Vincent, like T-R-I? No, like... No, it has his name, Try out the name Vincent never missed. <laughs> he tried it. He mm. missed one, so it's Vincent uh, only missed one. Yeah, right. Missed mm. once. That doesn't really roll off the No, tongue. it doesn't. And it that doesn't way seems way too obvious. It does. So we took some shotguns out. Oh, we did. Yes, we, we took, did. We took several out. What did we take, dude? And, Tell all the folk. Uh, Tell the folk before about the we begin, I want to say that we took more shotguns out than we shot, but uh, we're dumb. And forgot the mag for one of them. So that was kind of, eh. And we forgot ammo for another one. So You're beating yourself up, dude. Things happen. You know, yeah. it's kind of interesting because, you know, when you say shotgun, mm-hmm. you know, the first thing that pops to your mind is like the CZ-1012. A, a well, semi-auto you, shotgun a, actually, with a long barrel on it. I think you know, most wood, people would. Wood buttstock. Yeah, wood would go to. Um, or your CZ uh, Drake, you know. So what I'm thinking of is. When I first hear the word shotgun, uh, it's just a just a good old wood pump action shotgun. Yeah, like your uh, Remington uh, eight seventy. Wow, yeah. I almost said seven hundred, but it's bolt action. Or your Mossbergs, your Mossberg five hundreds, mm-hmm. or something like that. Benelli. But or Benelli, yeah. uh, Beretta makes some good ones yeah. too. But um, shotguns come in such a wide variety, like any other um, firearm type. I think they might have the most variety in what you can have them in. Honestly. Really, I, they're I, so I, versatile. I agree. And, and, like you, you know. have uh, pump action, semi-auto, uh, lever action, uh, break uh, break action, revolving shotguns. Uh, it was like shot. side shotguns. Side. Uh-huh. Shotguns kind of like the burger of guns. Kind they, of is. They're like uh, they will just make any configuration, and they're always so reliable. Mm-hmm. I mean, shotguns are just all reliable. Like you pull the trigger, they go bang. Pretty much. Pretty I mean, simple. of all of the trigger pulls that happened today, and there mm-hmm. were a lot. Oh, there was a, a lot ton of trigger pulls. Uh, I think the only we only had one really malfunction, malfunction, malfunction on us, mm-hmm. and uh, that was the uh, the revolver one was having some issues. Uh, and we were having issues uh, with that beforehand, so we knew yeah. going into this we were going to have issues. Right. Right. But, uh, yeah, we'll get that one fixed. Not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, man, you should. Other than that, cool. everything was fantastic. Yeah. Minus we forgot to bring a magazine for mm-hmm. one of the shotguns. CZ uh, went really well. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you were talking earlier about some news from the Czech Republic. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, it was just a passing headline that I saw. I didn't really read too much into it. Yeah. But well, they were, I believe they were doing a constitutional amendment to allow you the right to defend yourself with firearms. 
Right. Uh, correct me if if I'm wrong, Trevor. Well, I'm looking right now. But I Maybe believe can, that's what they were gonna. They were passing that. We like our friends in other countries mm-hmm. doing things. So that, the Czech Republic was gonna pass essentially a Second Amendment, saying that you have the right to defend yourself with yeah. firearms. Yeah. Well, I'm looking it up. The right to bear arms in self-defense is embedded in the Czech Constitution. This is mm-hmm. from today, the 21st. No, sorry. Okay. The Senate, the Upper House, and Czech Parliament has approved the right to use arms to defend oneself and others in their constitution. Now, I don't know if their constitution's like our constitution. Where, I'm not sure either. Uh, you know, it's uh, pretty much uh, signed in blood mm-hmm. and whatnot. Right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about Czech. All I know is they, uh, this is where CZ Well, that's from. pretty exciting. We just need all the other countries to follow suit. Mm-hmm. So get your stuff together, folks. Mm-hmm. And uh, especially all those European countries. Non-U.S. folks. What are you guys doing? Yeah. You know what? What's up? You know what now is? What's up? It's time, dude. Oh, what's it time for? Tell, tell the people. Oh, yeah. Uh, about uh, our, our good best friends. and bestest sponsorships mm-hmm. with U.S. Law Shield that are self-defense or legal defense for your self-defense. Okay. Uh, they're fantastic. We're all members. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's a nice peace of mind to know that I, if I if I ever get into a self-defense altercation, I have an on-call attorney that will answer my call any time, any day, no matter what's going on. Give them a call. Ring them up. They'll take care of me and all my uh, legal needs. Yeah, better. We know how expensive legal defense is and attorneys true, and all that true. stuff. Incredibly expensive. Oh, yeah. And now, if you sign up, if you go to their website, uslawshield.com, and you sign up with promo code Liberty Tree, you get 14 months for the price of 12 months. That's essentially two months free. Stay with us on the Gun Shop Show. Four easy steps to buying a gun. Step one, go to Liberty Tree Guns. Find your perfect gun from our wide selection of new and used firearms. Step two, call your significant other. Gain approval of your purchase. Step three, realize that you are a strong, confident individual. No one tells you what to do. Step four, check out Pay It All Now or 10% down with 90 days to pay using our Freedom Buyers Club. Buy and sell used and new guns, ammo and more. Liberty Tree Guns, across from Lowe's and Carthage or visit us online at libertytreeguns.com. Our member is involved in a brief road rage incident. One driver cuts off another in traffic and harsh words and gestures soon follow. After the pleasantries are exchanged, our driver goes on his way assuming the incident is over. However, still agitated, the other driver calls 911 and reports our member as aggressive, possibly having seen a weapon in his hand. In reality, what he saw was our member flipping him the bird. In an incident that can only be described as an overreaction by officers, our member is pulled over. When officers learn that he carries a legal concealed firearm, they arrest him despite a lack of evidence. This incident is just one of numerous member experiences. Be aware when traveling with a firearm. Any aggressive actions made by you, right or wrong, can land you in jail. Don't let it happen to you. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. Mm-hmm. We're going to shoot some shotguns on the show today. Yeah, we Do a little are. skeet shooting mm-hmm. um, in honor of the Olympics and how dominant America is. Yeah, as we, far as, we which, dominant. 30, which we kinda, 39 medals right We kind of should be dominant, especially when it comes to firearms, I because know, that's what I America know. is all right. about. Right. It's certainly what we've been known for mm-hmm. for uh, you know a little bit, a couple minutes now at but least. Before we get into that, I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to win a $100 gift card to Liberty Tree Guns. Just giving stuff Love away. Love an opportunity okay. to win. Mm-hmm. All you have to do to win, bingo, right there, $100 gift card to Liberty Tree Guns is it, to share the feed and tag five friends. Trevor, I'll oh, flip yeah. you for it. You, what are you flipping me? You're going to flip... 
No, oh, okay. oh, I thought oh, Logan snap. was talking about us. Oh, giving us no, no, no. Giving I'm us talking about bucks? the oh, viewers I, and listeners at oh, home on the radio, watching on TV, well, watching on I, Facebook I you or give YouTube. Trevor and me a chance to win. No, no, well, no, no, no. Basically, I, I now, now you owe me heads or tails. You owe me at least fifty bucks, and the juice is running. Yeah, Head, heads or tails. <laughs> mm-hmm. Trevor. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll either make way, let's just split it. Alan, how about that? Fifty for both of us. I'm good with that. Which last week's winner? Uh, you're, wait, you're, you're the one. You're the one that's giving you're it out. out. Enough, you're enough. out. Okay. Your hundred bucks. But we're all, we're also going to announce last week's winner uh, later in the show. Well, last week we'll remember winner mm-hmm. came and picked up his uh, gift card. Yeah, he did. Oh, did he? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Saturday. So uh, you know you want to listen. You want to pay attention. You got to come back. If you don't come back, it's not like. You, how are you going to know if you yeah, want? And it's not like I we're saying, know. hey, win this $100 gift card. And we're not giving away gift cards or yeah. guns or whatever. Yeah. We're Ask away. Bobby Bowen about that. We're giving away. Yeah, Bobby came in free. Saturday it's, afternoon. Mm-hmm. The barrier for entry is so low. You right. just go onto Facebook, search Liberty Tree Guns. You'll see us live there. Just share the feed and tag five friends. It's That's so it. So uh, and while you're there, you might as well like our page yeah. and like the video. Yeah, because help uh, support us. We yeah, appreciate it. Facebook ain't helping us out right now, folks. So no, Facebook do be do the censor to us. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're uh, oppressing us pretty heavily right now on social media. So yeah. the only way that this show is getting out is through the good graces of folks that pay attention attention and listen and whatnot. Yeah, and we we really appreciate you guys tuning in and Absolutely. joining us. We know we can be kind of silly and just ridiculous and talk about crazy stuff, but mm-hmm. uh, you guys yeah. support us through all of it, and we really appreciate that. Speaking of craziness, earlier, mm-hmm. Alan was trying to convince us that Terminator 1 was better than Terminator 2, and we uh, both know. Yeah. We both know that the age is starting to get to Alan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Anyone that's ages seen right now. either of them knows... The Terminator 2 is superior Far in superior. essentially Far every superior. single way. I think mm-hmm. it's just because both of you guys weren't born yet when Terminator uh, 1 came me? out. Excuse me? Excuse me? Are you being ageist right yeah. now? Yeah. Excuse me? Oh, my God. Uh, I was born in 1980, Some thank you people. very much. Uh, I lived through people. the 80s. You're I may old. not remember the first four you're years. You're older than I thought you were. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can we, agree, can we agree that both of them are good movies? I, I would say they're both good movies. I would say okay. both of them eclipse all the ones that came after them. All the yes. ones that came mm-hmm. after them are basically just uh, two ply Wait, toilet paper. I'm, I'm confused. Compared. I'm confused, mm-hmm. Trevor. Yeah. Um, there's only two Terminator movies Terminator 1, exactly. Terminator 2. Yes, right? exactly. The Cameron ones. Okay. Those and are they, the good they ones. They never made any more after that. Not, no. No, all the other ones. I wish ones, they would have, but yeah. they probably would have ruined it. It basically it was a failed attempt at saying, you know what, let's make some more Terminators mm-hmm. because people have too much money in their pockets. Yeah. And so that's what they did. But, you know, I, the reason that that came into mind when I was thinking, of it mm-hmm. is uh am i right or am i wrong terminator famously using the uh the 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 shot off shotgun or whatever that was that's was that true. like a mossberg yeah. uh what, what, what did he shoot last week what's that no called? i thought it was a lever action oh, that's a shockwave that oh yeah the, the, we shot the mossberg shockwave it was a shockwave yeah, with uh Car- geez Dan, if only there was Dan a way Dan. for us to find out yeah, but I'm pretty sure that uh, he used it was a cut it was a sawed off lever action shotgun. Custom Winchester shotgun. Because shot I'm pretty gun. sure he he flips it over and uh yeah, he racks like a new shell. Rolls it around or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure so it was a hero. Here we go. I'll show a picture of it. Sure. It's the Hero Custom 1887 Winchester shotgun. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of got that hand grip like the Shockwave does but with a lever action. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, that would just be cool to own and shoot. Yeah. That looks fantastic. Famously incredibly fun in my brain all i can remember is him like holstering it on the motorcycle and mm-hmm. then pulling it off yeah. and shooting driving by uh-huh. yeah. yeah such a good yeah. movie it such really a is good movie. Well, but we so should get better. into some of the footage we got of them shotguns so much better than the first one agreed agreed, <laughs> agreed. i gotta get that in there you gotta take a shot okay so for sure uh, what was the first one we shot logan it was uh, the, oh it was a special it was a special it was one a special yeah. one. and maybe mm-hmm. maybe we should let the video do all the talking let's go ahead and do that get the, get the sensitive stuff yeah out of the way. there it is okay, go ahead this is logan with a gun shop show today i figured we could shoot some shotguns see how that goes paul not too bad Oh, okay, so you mm-hmm. didn't say it in that one. I thought maybe you did. Oh, but. yeah, no, it's uh, yeah. We 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 did two takes of that because the first take, um, it was in slow mo. It it was weirdly, but strangely in slow mo. Um, I guess that's just the cinematic. But option. the reason we were saying that was a special shot, and I'll show you. I'll show everyone. Yeah, he'll watching. show you. And while he's showing you, I just want to uh, acknowledge the fact that for some reason Logan yelled "pull" 
and he was self-serving and I, i'm not sure why is that like uh is that like a safety thing no that's just what you say when someone else when is someone else yeah, does like oh, a okay. warning it's mm-hmm. like a warning like, yeah i get yeah. you i'm getting ready mm-hmm. yeah pretty okay. much pretty okay. much yeah normally someone else would be controlling it uh-huh. but we and you, would yell pull. you go pull and they it's you yell pull because normally they would have a string and they'd pull mm-hmm. it and the arm would fly forward and the clay pigeon would shoot off. Yeah, but okay. now they're all automatic, so it doesn't make any sense. Let's show these folks your beautiful gun. Yeah, so I'm this is try not to get choked up. This, this is time. my CZ uh, Drake 12 gauge mm-hmm. that my lovely wife happened to buy for me for our wedding and she had it engraved right here on the stock. Mm-hmm. With our last names and our wedding date right Mr. there. Mr. I think John. I think she did it just so I didn't forget when we got married. Right. Right. She's like, I'll put it I on kinda, a gun. I kind of can't forget now. Right. But And uh, you it, can't sell it. It's I and I can't sell it. She probably was worried. <laughs> I do that a lot. I probably she was probably worried about that. But <laughs> um it's a fantastic gun. I love it. It's it's definitely my favorite shotgun, one of the my most favorite. It, so, it is my most favorite firearm. So uh-huh. for the, you, babe, for the listeners on the radio, mm-hmm. Logan is holding up the CC so Drake, a, which is an over under. It's an over under shotgun shotgun, break which action. means over under means that one barrels over over the other. It's a break action, meaning that the action breaks over like that, mm-hmm. like so. And then you and then you load, load, boom, boom, and you close it. They're ready to go, and then you just safety and pull the trigger. Alan, did you say breach load? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. called breach load. When what you load what the, does breach loading mean? Yeah. Well, you put the shell straight into the breach. Mm-hmm. Oh, in, that thing's called a breach. Straight into the barrel. Gotcha. Now, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm looking it up here on wikia.org. Mm-hmm. With, wiki. with B-R-E-E-C-H. Mm-hmm. With over-under shotguns and side-by-side shotguns, there's usually two different types of trigger mechanisms you can get and the fact that uh so you either get one trigger mm-hmm. that you pull twice and that sends both uh, both barrels that uh, fires both barrels individually or you have two triggers one for each barrel right usually the, offset from one another in the drake's case it's uh it's one trigger you pull twice so, both barrels go off so does anybody make a two trigger double barrel anymore i know the older ones used to be two uh-huh. triggers i'm but I don't know if anybody's no. making a two trigger double barrel anymore. No, you know, not that most I, of them not are, that I'm aware of. I think they developed the one trigger, you know, mm-hmm. you shoot the top barrel and, and then, then shoot the bottom. Or this one actually has a selector here on the safety right here. Oh that goes left or right and it, it determines which barrel you fire first. Ooh. And you know, with skeet shooting, a double barrel like that is is good and we can talk about that mm-hmm. when we come back. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, folks, stay with us. We're going to be right back. We'll do more shotgun talking, shotgun shooting. Tales of the Shack On the, the Gun, gun Shop, Shop Show. Show. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that the Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, We made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica rv Game wardens have seen it all. Learn from them. How in the world does a dog shoot a man when proper safety is completely ignored? For example, a Texas hunter was shot and killed by his own dog. With the safety off, the dog stepped on his loaded shotgun in the bed of his pickup truck. Somehow, his paw got in the trigger guard and discharged the shotgun. Tragically, the 46-year-old math teacher was struck in the thigh and died. A hunter in Minnesota was shot in the leg when his dog jumped aboard his boat. 
and a bulldog in Florida shot his owner while they were driving to a hunting spot. Believe it or not, these astonishing cases are all true and game wardens have seen it all. Hunters and anglers, that is why we are so pleased to announce our brand new series of exciting events featuring retired game wardens and experienced lawyers who hunt whose sole purpose is to keep you safe on the hunt or on the water and on the right side of the law. Each event is designed to give hunters and anglers the essential law that they need to stay out of trouble, plus provide the opportunity for real questions and answers from these highly trained professionals in a fun and interactive manner. If you hunt, fish, or love someone that does, you owe it to yourself to attend. Best of all, it's sponsored by your friends at Texas Law Shield, so you know it will be great. As always, stay armed, stay educated, and register for a Sportsman Law Seminar today. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the Square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through you have to check out the art gallery, but then as you work your way to the back, my favorite part, the woodshed. Had a lot of great meals in here. They've got burgers. I love their catfish. Excellent. Chicken and waffles even. It's incredible. And it's also a music venue, so we got to see my favorite band of all time, the Ben Miller Band. The ceiling was literally raining down. They were rocking so hard. But the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth, that's Cherry Babcock. Check out the Emporium on the Square and the woodshed. If I wasn't watching the gun shop show, I wouldn't be as cool as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the gun shop show. We're giving away a 100 Yep. $100 <laughs> Liberty Tree gift card. I was holding the card backwards. All you have to do is share the feed and tag five friends. What do you think the chances are that somebody who won this came in and was like, "You know what? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think I want to put all the money on one of those shotguns that is behind Logan's head in yep. episode 69." If they don't want to, uh, could they I have use a this hundred dollar, Alan? And they can just give it to me. Oh, like Sweet. as a gift? Yeah, Sweet. yeah. Well, they didn't I know. Don't, I don't want that. What was your, just, what was your yeah. question, Trevor? Again? Well, I don't remember. But oh, okay. what I will say that today mm -hmm. we're in uh, uh, a weird anomaly, right? Uh, so three things have happened today where it's number sixty nine. This is the sixty ninth episode. Okay, the Olympic shooter was 69 years old that and is strange. also alan just turned 69 today happy birthday alan happy birthday alan yeah, yeah. happy I, birthday I, I, I wish, looking good i wish i were 69 <laughs> then I, yeah would be much closer to retirement Real, oh that's yeah, why that's, that's why i'd be yeah. like mm, i'm out on that i'm, mm, I'm happy to yeah. be in my 40s still but yeah i think to go back to your point Me trevor too. I believe if someone won that hundred dollar gift card mm. they could put any one of the shotguns that yes we're thank you on the show today on layaway yes Except, except for this guy oh, right here, the er, special one. Er, oh, the er, DB12, er, right there. Yeah, the that DB12 one's going to be twelve. It's a little more expensive. It'll oh, take, it'd take about a hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, I thought you oh, were talking and about this one. This yeah, one's priceless. I, that's what I was going to yeah, say. Absolutely like, priceless. That you would be probably in the millions. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's that's custom. You just don't see guns like this. Every now, day. did she etch that out herself with a chisel and hammer? Um, no, she oh. used a chisel and a rock. Oh, okay. I thought she used mm. her fingernails. Mm. Well, she does have some pretty impressive it, fingernails. Does she? Yeah. yeah. How would I not know that? I don't know, so, man. Hey, mm. what, Let's talk what, about I, guns. what I was Probably saying be before the break was, yep. uh, you know, for skeet shooting, a uh, double barrel, mm -hmm. a lot of people prefer because you can put two different chokes. You can put a modified in one barrel mm -hmm. and improved in another or mm -hmm. a full and that way, for different distances. That way, you shoot one close and one further. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you're doing like double, if you're doing uh, doubles, double ski. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, that makes whereas sense. Whereas with a semi-auto or a pump, you have one barrel, mm -hmm. you have one, one choke. choke in it, and so you have to kind of decide. Okay, yeah. what choke do I want to put in there? Mm -hmm. And you know, usually, 
uh, you choose, or at least I choose the wrong one. Right. You know, I shoot and I go, man, I wish I'd have had a modified in there. Right. I put that improved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I what I do when I'm shooting doubles, I uh, I just try taking both out with one shot. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. Wow. We didn't do any of that, so I couldn't show you guys. Yeah, it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. I'm pretty, uh, I'm phenomenal behind yeah. a gun. I just don't show off on the show. It's true. You know, you're into guns way more than I am. I don't want to be that guy that shows up and just outshines you. Mm-hmm. We, we do have some pretty cool double barrels in the shop right now. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. the one that in particular that I think is really cool is the CZ Coach. Oh, I haven't seen this. It's mm-hmm. a short barrel double barrel side by side by side it's an old stage coach uh, I believe, uh, shotgun. believe the receiver is case hardened so yeah. it looks beautiful uh, uh it does is. it does it look similar to let me show you guys and okay. not the audience show us <sighs> does it look like that yeah yeah okay well i'm not going to show that one because it's got someone else's logo on it yeah don't do that so uh yeah i don't want to show their stuff but oh here we'll find it there on you cz's go. website That's what you want. so this yeah. is it yeah, that's not the best picture. Here we go. And Put it really, me in, coach. It doesn't really do it justice, but no, it the wood looks absolutely beautiful on mm-hmm. it. The case hardened receiver is gorgeous. The whole gun is now. Is that fantastic. new or is that a consignment? No, it's no, new. brand new. Oh, brand okay, new. brand new. Yeah. And and if you won this. Liberty Tree gift card for a hundred dollars. You could definitely put that on layaway. Heck yeah, yeah. or definitely. any of our consignment firearms too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anything in the store. And then we also have. Another, uh, I believe it. It is a consignment or it's a used gun, but there's an old Remington side by side out there that you uh, know. Gotcha. If you like the old look, you mm-hmm. know the the coach, the, the blue barrels. It's oh, not yeah. a coach. It's just a side by side. Gotcha. Regular length barrels. Well, I see this one has the two triggers. Does that one have two triggers too? The one you're talking about? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I, I don't recall. So. um yeah, I was just trying to imagine the over under you're talking about with the double chokes on it. Uh, I mean, it, it, skeet shooting is that like pretty much the only um, use for that, or no, is it no, you can hunt bird, with it? Bird hunting also, yeah, oh, for okay. sure, because you you know you might I get you have different distances I get that you. you're trying mm-hmm. to shoot, so you know the different barrels. Okay, now you want to use that. an over under like this for home defense or anything like that? No, it's more for hunting or re- recreation. Yeah. yeah, and most uh, other than that, coach most double barrels have longer barrels mm-hmm. and so for security or home defense you know you you're trying to move around and you're going to be knocking over the the table lamps and those types yeah. of things with the barrels of those here's lamps. the thing about double barrel shotguns though they're most likely the only firearm they won't be banned when they try to ban all of them. That's, that's because right. Mr. Mr. Joe Biden, President Biden, he's pro shotgun. I, he's I pro remember, double barrel shotgun. I remember buy a shotgun. when he told Jill, just get the double barrel, just buy a shotgun. Walk Go outside out, on walk the balcony, on the balcony, pop fire, off a couple, fire blasts, two rounds, and the mm-hmm. bad guys are going to run away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because they know that you've emptied your shotgun now, right? And you'll have to reload before you can. I want to. Yeah, I want to recreate this scene. What you guys don't realize is that criminals are pretty understanding. Yeah. And they're pretty nice. It's pretty and rational. When they hear you fired both rounds and your gun is now empty, they're going to sympathize with that yeah. and they'll leave you alone. Well, they're going to be like, you know what? He's not armed. That, that poor guy can't buy a semi <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah, I can't be he must not have anything. This one. He uh, must not have anything nice because mm-hmm. he can't even afford a semi-auto <laughs> right? shotgun. Only two rounds? Next door, please. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I can only imagine the person that's doing that being rational, you know, mm-hmm. breaking in because they're all elite criminals out there breaking into people's homes. Oh, yeah. big time. So what's up? What's next on the docket, y'all? So, we shot more shotguns, right? Yeah, we, we did. We mm-hmm. did. Um, you know, let's talk should, about let's talk about the revolver because we only have one of those. We have a few minutes before the break. Yeah, let's talk about the revolver, the land door right behind you there. Let me right, grab right. it. Real we got quick. it. Uh, I got it queued up here. If we want to show, let's show, go ahead and show it. Uh, Alan blasted with light out in the sun today. This is Alan with the Gun Shop Show. Today I'm He's shooting white. the land door 410 revolver. Look how American shotgun. that looks. Mm-hmm. Hit. Oh, misfire. No, it exploded, man. I had your back <laughs> off camera. <laughs> well, I think we uh, yeah. we experienced we another malfunction. We did not have there. the I best think, time I think with I went this. seven for five on that oh, one. We have another one here. Oh, oh do we? Shoot. Maybe this one's better. Let's try this yeah, one. Yeah, let's try this one. Alan was good. Oh. 
Alan with the gut. This is Alan with the gut chop show. Today <laughs> there you we're go. shooting the Landor 410 revolving shotgun. Yeah, I think that last video you were learning about, it was an indexing or something. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nice little gun, not very good shot. <laughs> yeah, so that's this right here. And the kind of special thing is that it has a cylinder. I think that's they a great rotates. idea, right? Because, I mean, what's the most amount of rounds you're going to put in a shotgun? One we had today had three at well, max. Um, well, here's the thing. Most shotguns, if you remove the tube, you can fit like eight or nine rounds. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, yeah. and some shotguns, they do make extended tubes. Mm-hmm. Especially you know. competition shotguns. Yeah. Uh, you can get like 13 round tubes or whatnot. So you can but fit a lot more, but most of them are restricted most for... Game, most game that you hunt, for they hunting. restrict you for to three... Sometimes five rounds. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, there are a oh, few things that you can hunt so, that allow five rounds. Huh. And we can show that later. I can talk about it when we have the CZ 1012. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's, uh, I mean, it, it surprises me a little bit, but all it does is just underscore the fact of uh, I know very little about guns. Hey, it's a hunting. good thing we're talking about it. Exactly. I know. Exactly. You'd think I'd learn a whole bunch being on the gun shop show and working in a gun store for so six years. So just to show everyone, you got your cylinder here on this Landor Arms, right there, cylinder. And the issue we were having is that when we closed it, it just was not indexing. So when we pulled the hammer back, it, was, it wasn't it was falling on a shell. So wait a second. It was the little falling. mechanism that's supposed to lock in is not locking right now. That, that was the issue. That was, that was right, the issue right. we're having. So uh, is it not locking right now? Yeah. It, no, it, it, seems, it seems like it's locked. Oh, okay. I don't know on that one, Logan. Will that one also shoot 45s or no? I think it's just 410. Just 410. I think it's just 410. Because a lot of 410 chambered will shoot guns both. Will yeah. shoot both. I think this one's just 410. I, I believe you're right on that one. We're going to be right back. We're going to talk more shotguns. We should, we shot a few more, did some more ski shooting, and we had a little competition. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, we all know who stay we, don't need, with we don't need us. to talk about that. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. on the gun show. Shop show. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment. And it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together. And you know, it's just it li- uh, you know, land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It, it is kind of kept me focused and, and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Hey, you know what makes this, the gun shop show, possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name's Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply, and I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of the Gun Shop Show, and uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there, and we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. Hi, I'm Eli Paginson. When I'm not fighting red flag laws, playing games, or writing, I'm listening to The Gun Shop Show. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. We're giving away this little beauty right here. That's a one hundred dollar gift card to Liberty Tree Guns. Wow. Yes, we are. Wow. All you have to do is share the feed, tag five friends, that get you entered in for a chance and to win. Trevor and that's and for I our Facebook that's folks. That's for our that. Facebook folks. But if, if you're, you're listening on the radio or the podcast and you're like, share the feed, there's yeah, nothing yeah. to share here. Trevor and I are not eligible. 
So if no. anyone would like to share mm-hmm. the hundred dollar gift card with us, be sure and share the feed with five friends mm-hmm. and yep, 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 yep. win it and come in and share it with Trevor and I. Yeah. Uh, not nope. Logan. Yeah, not you don't Logan. have to, but if you don't, yeah. excommunicated. Yeah. We, we may not talk hmm. to you. I think yeah. I might just select uh, myself as the giveaway winner. Well, you know how Liberty Tree Guns is always trying to be your friends in the business. Mm-hmm. If you win this money and then you come in and you don't share it with either me or Alan, then uh, we're ex friends in the gun business, yeah. Alan and I. Former, former friends. Yeah. Not we're, accurate. We'll still be your friends <laughs> in the gun business. Well, Liberty Tree Guns will, but Liberty me Tree and guns. Alan? Yeah. Sorry. We're done. Yeah. Sorry. It's over. Not true. I love everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody, it, lo- it, everybody yeah, love everybody. Right. Like we've said before, if you don't have five friends to tag, make mm-hmm. sure you tag Trevor and Alan. You got three right times. here. Make yeah. sure you tag Trevor and Alan five times. <laughs> at least. Uh, if you don't tag me seven times. Looking at you, Lulu. Count. Tag yeah, right. Trevor five times. Okay. She, uh, in our most Trevor. recent episode, I saw her comment. She like tagged a bunch of people and she's like, I'm doing this because I want to win something. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can too. Just, you could tag me. She's like explaining to people in her tag oh, that's awesome. that they can win if they tag other people. And then one of those people tagged like, I love this show. <laughs> and they yeah. tagged five people. Some people just don't know how to tag on Facebook. I, I mean, know. you don't know how to do it until you've done it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy. simple. You just start typing in the at symbol. You can do that, or I think you can even just start typing people's names. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And it'll be that like, works you mean too. this person? And, and then you just click person? that, and then you next person, and yeah. then the next person, and the next person. It's really simple. And then the next person. I'd say that's in it. the last one, I think overall we had 20 entries. Isn't wow. that nuts? Only 20, 20 nuts. entries. That's wow. A great chances for you to win, yeah. though. Like, yeah. yeah, it's excellent. You know, I mean, it, it varies from episode to episode, but some people just aren't doing it, and it's really and surprising. Like a hundred bucks, you could sell that gift card to somebody, even if you don't want it for big time, a little bit of cash. And it, if you share the feed and don't tag five friends, you're not entered to win. Just as if you don't share the feed and you tag five friends, still not entered to win. You have to yeah. do both. Got to share do the both. feed. Tag five friends. Uh, something simple. else that I wanted to mention since What's we're up? thinking about it sure. um, is we're looking for sponsors. So That's if true. you're watching this uh, and you would be interested in being a sponsor of the Gun Shop mm-hmm. Show, uh, visit us at, Li- I'm sorry, not Liberty Tree Guns. Why don't you sorry. pull it up so they can see it? Uh, visit us at thegunshopshow.com. Yeah. Shop show. Dot com and click on the sponsors tab. Yeah, I'm going to throw it up here uh, as soon as it loads. Any second now. We can any, keep talking while it's happening. Any second now. So you go here. There you go. And then at the top of the here, you'll see sponsors. You click on that. And then uh, mm-hmm. if you become a sponsor, you'll be listed on this page. But at the very bottom here is a little form you can fill out. And you can say, hey, I want to be a sponsor of this awesome stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll get you some more information. And if you or just just contact the shop. Mm-hmm. You could do that hey, too. If, if I wanted to be a sponsor, mm-hmm. could I be a sponsor, but I don't have any money to pay for it? Yeah. Uh, can, can I win that $100 gonna need gift some good, card? Going to need can some goodwill. Can I win that $100 gift card? And, <laughs> do it in exchange of the gift card? <laughs> and I'll give you the gift card back right. I, to hey, be a sponsor hey, of the show. Alan, I'll make a deal with you, okay? Uh-oh, okay. I'm making deals. Well, let's, if let's you want to be deal. a sponsor and you win this $100 gift card, I will mention your name on the show in exchange for this hundred dollar gift card. That sounds fair. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know what you guys just said, but it sounds fair. Cool. Yeah. Sure. And if you're just catching us for the first time and you're you're stumbled upon the GunShopShow dot com website, if you can scroll down and see all of our past episodes. You can watch them. Any yeah, of them right there. here on the uh, the old home page mm-hmm. that uh, we'll load here in a second because Edge is really fast. Yeah. So there's our there was our last episode shooting mm-hmm. with the mayor. We shot with Dan Rife, he's yep. the Carthage mayor. You got the YouTube video right mm-hmm. there, and then the podcast. And you just keep scrolling. There's more episodes. Oh, more episodes. That. More episodes. Oh, look at that. 66. We've done over a year of episodes. That's Dude, we've amazing. almost hit 70 episodes. Mm-hmm. I, I remember when you were like episode 10, and I'm like, man, yeah. there's no way we're making it to a year. Just and think. And then we made it to a year. 31 more episodes, and then we can do the Batman episode. Oh, yeah, right? 100? Episode Gosh, 100. That, mean, dude, that means I've committed to 31 more episodes. Well, not necessarily. You just have to be there for 100. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, just the hundred. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hundred. I'm we'll gonna swoop in Eli like back. Batman. We'll have mm-hmm. to get Eli back. From so he can Eli stuff. So he yeah. can scoff so the can, whole time. So he can do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, we need to scoff, man. We're gonna get to the scoff. end of the episode. He's gonna be like, <clears throat> uh, "Who's Batman?" <laughs> right. <laughs> he's a scoff superstar. I don't know. Uh, many people don't. He just know doesn't that. like that superhero stuff. Yeah. He's if not it doesn't involve it. fishing or camping or doing Eli stuff, then he's not hey, into it. Batman fish too. 
It's All right. true. Batman fish too. Use it, they use echolocation. They, they do. swoop in. We got six minutes left. Let's talk about some shotguns. Let's talk. About we should do that. We got yeah. off topic again. Uh, what else do we shoot? I don't know. We got any we more shoot? footage of what we shot? I think we do. Let me see like what we, we got do. over I here. I feel like we do. How about this? This is Logan with the Gun Shop Show. Today we're shooting some shotguns. Going to start off with this over under CZ Drake. We're going to do some skeet shooting. If you look over here with our champion. Wiley Bird 2.0. Yeah, I should have played this uh, earlier. And this oh. is a special shotgun to me. Oh, that's your special shotgun. Oh, that's what I knew. Right over it. here. I so too. Aww. That's right. My wife bought this for Aww. me for, as a wedding present. Did you guys get married on 3.14 or on purpose? Oh. On Pi Day. No, no, we didn't. Let's get ready. I just need a pie. Ooh, and he missed. Yeah, there I didn't miss. Go. I like how you called yourself out. It was terrible, She's dude. better than I do. It is. Well, That's we could true. say those are your first shots. Uh, let's shots. play the next video. We should have played that Drake one yeah. earlier. Not oh, this video. one here where I'm looking, uh, yeah. looking 20 years Whoa, old. Whoa, look at that. Fantastic Liberty Tree. Oh, yeah. Jurassic Park teacher. Oh, look at those guns. Wow. Oh, my All three of them. Yeah. My arms guns. My guns. Hold guns. Got it. Too far. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> For the radio listener, uh, Trevor did not miss a shot today. He got... All three of them. Make it easy on you guys. Actually, you <laughs> did nail the last one. Yeah, uh, that yeah, was yeah. a CZ ten twelve. Mm-hmm. It's a semi auto, and I believe inertia driven shotgun. What do you think they call it a ten twelve? You can't fit ten twelves in there. Why do they call it ten? Why do they call it a ten? The number ten of the twelve. The twelve gauge shoots, tw- shoots twelve gauge, right? Oh, maybe ten out of ten. Oh, it's got ten out of ten stars. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ten out of ten stars. That's twelve gauge. All right. Yeah, so that's on on the wall right there behind mm-hmm. him. Yeah. Let's, Let's show Alan shooting it, and then we can talk about it. Okay. All right. Alan with the Gun Shop Show shooting the CZ 1012. Alan, those colors are slimming on you. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. They almost you're already slim, so they kind of make you look malnutrition. Oh yeah. Sorry. Okay. I, uh, I laughed harder at that than probably anyone else did, but. Yeah, there job. you go, ten twelve. Let me pull it down real quick, guys. Yeah, go ahead and pull it down. And while you're pulling it down, I'm going to look up ten twelve. Yeah, so semi autos are probably uh, the most versatile because they do make those in a bunch of different configurations, and it's uh, so makes long. It, it makes it fairly easy to to hunt with because you is. don't have to worry about pumping. <laughs> you know, yeah, absolutely. And this one is pretty nice has a kind of a gray Cerakote on the receiver there it looks really good with the the black barrel and the wood stock and it is it's uh, good foreground. looking it is it really is good looking cz makes a nice looking shotgun and aren't they, they do aren't they really affordable too uh, by that, comparison yeah that that's the next uh thing i wanted to touch upon the cz 1012 is an incredibly reliable semi-auto shotgun and happens to come in at a re- really reliable price mm-hmm. not a reliable price but affordable price of about Depending on the model you get, of course, and the color of the receiver, uh, about five to six hundred, usually where you can find them at, which is for the quality you're getting and the reliability and how smooth the action is, is fantastic. Yeah. I don't think it can be beat. I don't think there's any other shotgun out there around the price that can compete with this gun. Yeah, I, I, I think that would be a good gun to do a little dove hunting mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. or maybe even go out and shoot a couple ducks. Mm-hmm. Yep. It would be good for it's fantastic for skeet shooting. Hunting, of course, would be good for. Um, it's incredibly smooth. It's lightweight, easy to handle. So for your hunting trips, it would be easy to maneuver and uh, shoot ducks or whatever you're shooting turkey. What, Do uh, either of you shoot or hunt dove? I have yes. I it, have. Season's coming up, right? And uh, yeah, September. should be September. Yep. September. I want to go. Okay, but I don't. I don't want to eat the doves. Would you guys be willing to eat my doves? Uh, uh, feels I, like a trip. Oh, it's not a trap, dude. But I, I would just, eat some doves. Have I you just, have you had dove before? I have not had dove before. It's actually um, you have to shoot a lot to get a, a decent meal. Yeah, it, it because really, there's not much meat on dove. It really but, uh, makes a big difference how you cook them. Mm-hmm. Also, if you yeah. fry dove, fantastic, huh? Absolutely. Well, fantastic. I mean, I, I'll try it, but I just for personal reasons, I just I, I would be okay with giving it away myself. Anything mm-hmm. that I actually shot, I just want to try it. You know, I'm gonna, I want to make a Dove's Day bad. I, I well, would ha- have to say that probably Dove may be one of the most difficult birds to shoot. Well, you guys it, saw me take mm-hmm. out all those discs today. You know I'm going to yeah. it's, nail it's, them. It's really similar to shooting clay pigeons well, yeah. in a way. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the Dove usually are a little faster and they'll surprise you. They won't stop me. Um, 
But yeah, if you shot the way you did today, you'll be fine. Okay, yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna want to get a good spray going too. You know, what I'm talking about a good spread. You say of, spray? Yeah, of the. Shot. Alan, did you say you dove hunted? I did. Yeah. L- let us know in the comments if you've dove, hunt- dove hunted before. I kind of want to see how many people have dove hunted and who yeah. haven't that so, are watching. So out um, east of town, there's mm-hmm. a game reserve out there. You got a place, Talbot? Oh, that you can go out and hunt. The only thing is, they don't allow lead shots. So, oh, gotcha. You know, well, there goes all my. I, I have lead a dove hunting shot. story from when I was younger. Uh, real quick. Oh, uh, so first time dove hunting. Okay, and I was with my cousins and my and my family, but I. I was walking on the the edge of the forest here, and I started getting hit by something. And I was like, "Is it raining?" And like, I managed to catch one in my hand, and it was a it was a BB from a shotgun that was fired across the field from me. Oh wow! Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, we'll talk more about shotguns on the Gun Shop Show. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? I Old don't really... glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first uh-huh. um, because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do that. And right. then also, it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. Again, um, just, okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best. I got one here place and then just put it right up here where the gun shop show logo okay. is okay yeah. all right i'll do better this and time. then uh and so let me finish the ad and then you can jingle okay okay all right so uh the best place to go is their facebook page oh glory actions and estate sales you know what fine i'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when oh, old glory glo- actions and estate sales I think I got it that time, man. Our member's girlfriend is on her way to pick up her kids from her ex-husband's house. She asked our member to tag along because of her ex's temper. As they arrive at the home, her ex emerges yelling and gesturing. He approaches his ex-wife and grabs her, attempting to drag her inside. Fearing for her life, our member, a trained CHL holder, jumps out of the car with his gun drawn and demands the ex-husband release her. Seeing the gun, the assailant retreats. The situation then takes a bizarre turn as the assailant dials 911 to report our member. As a result of the aggressor's lies, our member was wrongfully arrested. Our member had to undergo lengthy legal proceedings. However, he was ultimately cleared of all charges. Buckle up, because belts just got better. With Core Essentials, the perfect fit every time. With 40 plus sizing positions, styles for any situation. Whether in the boardroom, crushing sales and taking names. On your next adventure, in the great outdoors. Or when you're done for the day and ready to relax. Get your perfect fit with Core Essentials. Four easy steps to buying a gun. Step one, go to Liberty Tree Guns. Find your perfect gun from our wide selection of new and used firearms. Step two, call your significant other. Gain approval of your purchase. Step three, realize that you are a strong, confident individual. No one tells you what to do. Step four, check out Pay It All Now or 10% down with 90 days to pay using our Freedom Buyers Club. Buy and sell used and new guns, ammo and more. Liberty Tree Guns, across from Lowe's and Carthage or visit us online at libertytreeguns.com. The Gun Shop Show costs money to make, and the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by pecans and cheese. Not really, actually. We didn't have any sponsors for this segment, and so I decided that I would take a snack break, and also, I decided, if you guys are tired of listening to me eat cheese and nuts, that you need to buy an ad. So, from now on, if our ad sponsorships don't sell out, you're going to have to listen to me eat nuts and cheese. In order to sponsor the Gun Shop Show, send us an email at thegunshopshow at gmail.com. Next week, chips.
Hey there, we got your lab results back. It looks like you have a fever and the only prescription is more gun shop show. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. What is it? We don't know. The gun shop show, the gun shop show. Here we go. It's the gun shop show. Probably great for watching movies and such. Welcome back they to are. the gun shop Welcome show. Welcome back to the gun shop show. We were talking about headphones and how much I hate wires. Yeah. Nothing has nothing to do with guns, so we'll just skip over that. We, uh, I decided in the break that today's episode is going to be called the shotgun shop show. The mm-hmm. shotgun shop show, yeah. The shotgun shop show. The shotgun shop. This is all about shotguns. That and that's uh, kind of difficult to say. Actually. It is. It doesn't roll off the tongue. And the the uh, the intro song or our theme song is going to mm-hmm. take a big hit in uh, ratings because it's going to be harder to sing. Oh, what I'm saying. The yeah. shotgun shop show. Yeah. The shotgun shop show. What is it? We, we know. Yeah, we no. know. Now Shot- it's all about actually, shotguns. We do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today we're transitioning to a show only um, about shotguns. Transitioning, huh? Just in case uh, Mr. Mr. President Biden decides to ban everything else. Yeah. Got to be prepared with our shotguns, our fully automatic shotguns. Have you ever shot a fully automatic shotgun? Oh, no. I haven't either. No. I can only imagine what I would do to I've, your shoulder. Today was like my second time shooting shotguns. Mm. No, third. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the second time we mm. went and did a, uh, what do you call a skeet, a shoot? A, a, oh, a charity skeet event. Something yeah. Like that. I yeah. Went for that. And uh, before that, like a couple of days before that, we went and practiced uh, doing it. Mm. And of course, everyone figured out how much of a natural I was. And then we went out there and Didn't I Didn't you won. actually win it? I, w- I did the best of everybody and I had never done it before That's in my so life. That's so weird. Yeah, I know. Well, beginner's luck. Well, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah, wish yeah, I would yeah. beginner's luck in things that catapulted me into a better life. You know, if I'm going to be lucky about being good at something for the first time, why mm-hmm. can't that thing be uh, spinning the wheel on the price is right or landing it on a power dollar. ball or something. Yeah. You know yeah. why? Maybe, maybe you're just not starting enough things, you know, you know you what, Alan to start something mm-hmm. new. You're right. To have beginner's luck. That's you're true. right. You can't get beginner's luck on something you've been doing. It's Wait, can you have sage beginner's wisdom? Can Alan you have Snow. beginner's luck if you've been so detached from something for so long that no. you're now a beginner? No. no. You can't? No. Are you no. sure? No. You it's not beginning. It's not begin- you're not a beginner. Yeah, but it's what not if you're re-beginning. Beginning. What about beginning again? No. 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 I don't think that's how that works. Once you've begun, you can never begin again. No. That's pretty straight. That I'd true? have to say because yeah. of how well that sounded, it's got to be true. It's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But what about yeah. continued beginner's luck, right? Where you're just, beginner's luck isn't the very first time. It's the first handful of times. Well, Wait a minute. Time out. What if you have amnesia? I'd have to say that counts as beginning again, but I don't know. Maybe you're faking it. Maybe you're faking the amnesia. This could be like daytime television. Anyway, the gun shop show where we're talking (laughs) about amnesia (laughs) (laughs) and beginner's luck. Mm -hmm. So the CZ there. Yeah. Anyway, for sure. Uh, we talked a little For bit sure. about it. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, the oh, 10, yeah. I wanted to mention, the well, there's a nine twelve and an eight twelve of that particular. Is one there too. really? Well, yeah. So the eight twelve is a water. Maybe they're file. just different. Oh, they're probably different iterations. Yeah. yeah so that the, makes sense. the eight twelve is camouflaged. The nine twelve, which the eight twelve is discontinued, but mm-hmm. I did find a nine twelve, and let's see if there's a seven twelve, which would make me think that the twelve. There, there is a seven twelve. We have some. Okay. They're more for um, home defense. They're and the, CZ, the 612 is for home defense, too. The 612 so is, too? I bet you these are just either different versions of the 12 mm-hmm. gauge model by CZ. That's probably what that That's number That's probably represents. all it is. Mm-hmm. Tenth version. Or I like to know these things Tenth because variation. sometimes sometimes there's information about what it does in the name. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know that, then it's just a name. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Does that apply to the gun shop show? Well, yeah, because we talk about stuff about guns in the gun shop. You know, it's not like you tune in and we're just talking about bacon for two hours. Well, sometimes we do. We have done it for probably a solid or 10, talk about minutes, wrestling or talking about bonking turkeys on the head. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, there's a myriad of things. Or that we, we talk discuss. or we talk about how we talk about all that stuff. Well, you know, what's interesting, That's super meta, something that not many people realize this, mm-hmm. that we are real people. And we have real lives that don't involve guns. And sometimes that leaks out into the show. That's just you. Everyone else here is really into guns. Oh, yeah. you guys, you guys don't go I, home at the end of the day. I, 
Alan, I, I really uh, love the look of that CC ten twelve. Alan's trying to bring it home. It for is us. no, he's it, absolutely it, right. He's, it is a good looking. He's guy. the guy look. that was tired. Uh, of very so good. Very they, good they make a few different variations of this. I think this is currently my favorite. They also have a burnt bronze receiver edition. Yeah. It's more of like a bronze color. They have That's a burnt. standard black. And then they have an all terrain, which is more of a, like a matte green color, um, kind of like the uh, wall behind me. So the receiver would be that color as well as the barrel. And that's probably my least favorite just because green's not my favorite color, yeah. but it is the most durable. And, and we, that's what it's made for. And when you're talking semi auto shotguns, mm -hmm. there are you know, a lot of different companies make them, and they make them with camouflage, and they make them you know, with 28 inch barrels, and they make them with uh, 18 inch barrels. And you know, so mm -hmm. if you're, if you're going to hunt, I'd say the semi auto would yeah. be my favorite or the best shotgun to go hunting with. And depending on the company, you, uh, the brand you buy, uh, you may get some different features. Mm -hmm. Most of them have a, come with a plug in them, but yeah. depending on your what you're hunting, you could possibly take the plug out and load five rounds in it. Yeah, and plug. He's, talk, he's talking about the tube. Your tube down here on the bottom that holds all your shells here. Usually, they'll have a plug in it that stops at about I need it like about here ish. So you only get a couple shells in it. You get one, two. And this could hold if you took the plug out probably an additional five, six rounds. So Why wouldn't do. you just do that to begin with? Could, because then you can't hunt with it. Right. Oh. Uh, yeah. But you could take the plug out and still put two rounds in it, right? But if you get it's, caught by the game board. Um, it's, it's the same way with hunting deer. Like, your rifle can only have 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. And you could, you could potentially load a 30-round magazine with 10 rounds. And it'd be but fine, because but you because you have the money. capacity to hold more than 10 rounds, it's an issue. Why in the world would that even be a rule that someone's like, you know what? You can't have all that space. Because there are mm. cheaters and not in the use world, it. Trevor. There's right. people that would just take that gun and pull the trigger as many times as they could and, on and that. And they're going to do yeah. it anyway. Well, well not legally. Yeah. Not legally. You know? I mean, yeah. there are people that Yeah, if, if you're illegal. truly hunting... You're not going to do that. That's right. right. That, that, but that's for people that aren't going to abide you know, by most, that. Most people that are going to go hunting want to obey the law. Mm -hmm. And the reason they have those rules in place is conservation. You know, you yeah, wanna, I get you that. You want to you know, try to pre protect the birds' population so that they can reproduce and have birds for next mm -hmm. year. Yeah, I, I definitely get the conserva uh, conservation part. What I'm not necessarily on board with is the idea that I would have this compartment that I could put five things in and I only put two things in and because someone catches me, I'm in trouble now. Yeah. Well, that's that's ludicrous. You know, if you go out skeet shooting, you might want to put five. You might take the plug. Yeah, well, you're going to want more for skeet shooting. Definitely. Put five you rounds know. in. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially if you want to go like six for six or seven for seven. You don't have to reload all the time. Yeah, you know, like the, the uh, what's that, the Olympic guy who had 200 rounds in his. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, you should, you should have seen the yeah. tube. It, it was <laughs> last of it. It was like a full football field right. in front of him. Had a couple of those drum, drum mags. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coupled together. It's the only yeah. way to do it, guys. Yeah. So what's up next? So What's this behemoth we, we that we shot here? We can also talk semi-auto mm -hmm. in the security shotgun, the one, other one that Logan has behind him there, the G-Force. The, oh, you mean this one right here? Yeah. The one that we, I got Yeah, that's the G-Force GF-99. Yeah. And then over here is, er, right here, is the security 20-gauge. But it's a pump action. It's a pump action. Yeah. So let's so, talk about the G four. So the ten twelve, the ten twelve that we just shot here, semi auto, good for hunting, uh, good for uh, ski shooting, anything like that. The longer barrel being more conducive to more accurate shots. So it's good for that stuff. Now this upcoming one, the G four uh, GF ninety nine, being shorter, be it would be better for self defense, home defense. This is Logan with the Gun Shop Show. I'm shooting the G4 BR99. It's a semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun. And we happen to forget the magazine, so it's going to be a single shot. Our bad. Semi-auto shoot it. single shoot shot. Yeah. It's an automatic single shot. Hey, and without sights, chill. incredibly hard to see where I'm actually aiming at. This is Trevor with the Gun Shop Show. Today I'm shooting a military issue combat boot. That's what it reminded me of. Now I'm shooting this thing. 
that kind of looks like a uh, uh, what is that? The high point. Yeah, I got it. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So the 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 secret to hitting everyone mm-hmm. every time is just claim that you did it, whether you did it or not. Yeah, Trevor got pretty excited, so you know, that makes me so question. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he hit that. Well, for sure. the more excited I become, the more logical that I hit it. Yeah. Obviously. So we forgot the magazine in that mm-hmm. gun somehow because. Uh, I forgot the magazine. I don't yeah. know. I forgot. So, it. It's okay. So this one, the, the G force and most of the, the semi-auto mm-hmm. shotguns, security shotguns come with a five round magazine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some States that's the max allowable. Yep. But they do come with a higher capacity magazine. So Trevor, if you wanted to, you could get a, a 10 round, I believe or mm-hmm. a 19 round, I believe. Mm-hmm. Oh, the 19 round, it looks ridiculous. Yeah, it's like this long, like an AK yeah. magazine it's, or something sticking uh, out of it. It's even longer, really. If you can imagine carrying a sh- carrying a shotgun with a full box of shells, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hanging yeah. at the bottom of it, they do make drums that yeah will hold I, a full box. I was gonna shells. say, man, the drum makes more sense than uh, just an elongated mm-hmm. magazine, especially if you're wanting to be uh, covert. But for home like, home for security, sure. I believe this would be the best home security shotgun because it being Mm semi-auto if you're in a panic and Mm -hmm. you have to discharge the shotgun it's going to have another round ready Mm -hmm. for you to discharge it again right you know so you can shoot until you run out out. Mm -hmm. and so for sure that's uh i think an advantage of that right i think um another advantage and kind of a disadvantage the the GF ninety nine is set up more for three inch shells as opposed to two and three quarter, so it doesn't run necessarily the most reliable with two and three quarter. It won't cycle them always. It's designed for those three inch shells, which are what what you're going to use for home defense anyway. Yeah, right. but I couldn't be caught by a criminal using that thing. It's not appealing. Well, I want to look, look good when I'm blasting. <laughs> hey, let's talk about it more when we come back. Yeah, for sure. We're coming up on a break, right guys. Back. Stay with us. We're going to be right back, like Alan said, on The Gun, the gun Shop, Shop Show. Show. Alan, you were early. Hey, podcast listeners and live stream viewers. I wanted to let you know that The Gun Shop Show is made possible by our friends at MidAmerica RV. Being in the customer service industry, I have a really high standard for how customers are treated. MidAmerica RV does it right. I've got my RV through their dealership and I've taken it all over the country. Uh, We made it to South Padre Island. We've gone to Colorado several times. And if you've ever owned an RV, you know there's a lot that comes with it. So who you get it from matters and it's extremely important that you have support after the sale Uh, they're located just outside of Carthage they have a really vast inventory and they are home of I believe they call it a forever warranty so I urge you if you're in the market for one to check them out Uh, it's a really fun and can be very affordable way to get your trips in so visit them at midamericarv.com we appreciate their support of the gun shop show if you're in the market for a travel trailer or fifth wheel check out midamerica rv Oh, oh, talk about it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. 44,000 business cards. I said 44,000 business cards. I said 44,000 business cards. I said 44. I mean, four. I mean, crap. 44,000. Hey everybody, Eli here, and I'm really excited to tell you that the Gun Shop Show is brought to you by one of my favorite places on earth. Located here in my hometown of Carthage on the beautiful historic square, the Emporium on the Square, and the Woodshed. It's a art gallery, an event center, a gift shop, they have art classes, and there's very unique Americana artwork from famous artists like Andy Thomas. They handle a lot of his original framing. Just has this incredible old school vibe, and you can feel the history coming through through have to check out the art gallery but then as you work your way to the back my favorite part the woodshed had a lot of great meals in here they've got burgers i love their catfish excellent chicken and waffles even it's incredible and it's also a music venue so we got to see my favorite band of all time the ben miller band ceiling was literally raining down they were rocking so hard but the best thing owned by one of my favorite people on earth that's cherry babcock check out the emporium on the square and the woodshed Listen here, Pilgrim.
This here is the Gun Shop Show. Ah, you thought you were going to see Logan. I tricked him. <laughs> no, actually, I was busy getting yeah, uh, the GeForce he was on the GF-99 Raw Hill. He's showing everybody that thing. Uh, semi-auto. If you're listening on the radio, it's a semi-auto. It looks really similar to an a, a standard AR, mm-hmm. and except that it has a fixed stock. Yeah. And it's kind of thicker rail here. I'm not necessarily sure what that's yeah. for. And it's got a weaver top rail. Yeah, yeah. as opposed to uh, Picatinny. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a semi-auto 12 gauge. It has a shorter barrel. It'd be easier to maneuver in a house with, and be it'd be better, more conducive for right. home defense. And some people, you know, we talked last week when we shot with the mayor about mm-hmm. optics, and mm-hmm. some people are actually putting optics on their semi-auto shotguns. I bet. Yeah, yeah especially you know? since that one doesn't have it, any it, sort of sight on it. Yeah, so we try to shoot it uh, yeah. without any irons red dot anything on it and it was kind of difficult yeah it's safe to say that thing's probably not built for what we used it for but who cares no, right? can it be done uh, yes because i've shot my Keltec ksg for skeet shooting before mm-hmm. uh without any um sights yeah and it was pretty decent aren't there revolvers that take like a 410 yeah yeah okay hmm? uh revol- there's revolvers that use a 410 uh, uh shell yes yeah they'll use a 410 45 have you ever gone clay shooting with one of those no, I actually, no, I haven't. Hmm. Um, I'm sure you could. It would be a lot more difficult to do with that. Well, I mean, we shot that one uh, revolver uh, shotgun that it shot 410, right? The one that we shot today? Yeah. It that was 14 gauge. This, yes. one, this one right here, right there. And Alan, you actually did hit the clay with that, didn't you? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'd say you could probably do the same yeah. thing with the handgun. It would just be harder. The barrel's shorter. It's, oh, it's gonna, the, So, yeah, the trajectory. Yeah, the shell's going to start spreading earlier. You'd I have to you. shoot it quick out of, yeah, uh, yeah. Out of the... Uh, yeah, probably, probably only the elite are going to pull that you, off. You see those trick shooting guys, you know, like they mm. flip up a nickel and shoot a nickel out of the air. That's mm-hmm. why they're shooting with a, with a handgun and a slug versus a yeah. shotgun. Because as soon as you shoot and the... Yeah, shell, it starts fanning the, out. The pellets start coming out of the shotgun. I get that. And that's that. what we talked about earlier with the different chokes. Yeah. You know, the chokes will mm-hmm. help compact that so that it doesn't They'll help. spread quite as fast. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the so. first one of the first times I sold a shotgun here. I mean, we I did all my stuff online, but uh, shot, sold some shotguns, and this guy's like, "I need chokes." I'm like, "What are chokes?" <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. all right, I'll come over and I'll choke you. <laughs> no, I uh, seriously was not understanding what a choke was for quite a while until mm-hmm. someone explained to me. I think it was Eli what the purpose of a choke was, and I mean, even it, it's actually yeah, yeah, yeah it just it just tightens the board down mm-hmm. to so that keep that keeps the group together the group longer. together longer. Yeah. For, for distance. Exactly. So, right. yeah, I know now, but, you know, I, I like to think that there are people watching or listening to the show that are kind of like me that don't know. And, uh, you know, it's Yeah, nice especially if you're a first-time gun buyer and you've never bought a shotgun before, mm-hmm. you would just uh, be like, cho- chokes. Yeah. Yeah, it makes no sense. Choking yeah, a so. gun? What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Mo- it doesn't make the, sense. Most not- of the sh- security shotguns also mm-hmm. uh, take a three-inch shell like, Logan was mentioning mm-hmm. earlier, but they also a lot of times you would want to shoot a slug in it mm-hmm. versus birdshot or buckshot. Yeah, right. So with the slug in it, it doesn't matter what kind of choke you have in it. Now the slug you know? itself is like a full, almost the full size. It's like one item that sits inside of the mm-hmm. casing. It's, that yeah, that gets so it's, it's like an oversized bullet. It, uh, an oversized yeah. Exactly. Ball, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much what it is. Okay, and then obviously the shot is much smaller pieces that kind of spray out, fan out. That way, if your target's moving, yeah, you can. Uh, you don't have to be it, right if on. you want to just um, Google some different shell types and their loads, so we can give the viewer something to look at. So. It, Today, when we were shooting those mm-hmm. clays, Trevor, mm-hmm. most of those clays are designed and made to break if one BB hits them. So, oh, really? Yeah, so it be, doesn't take much. You could be, you know, way off target, but one BB hits that clay and breaks it. Don't matter. It's a hit. It's a hit. Mm-hmm. Nice. A hit's yeah. hit. I'm looking up some uh, shotgun loads here, guys, so that we can show our audience awesome. kind of the difference here. I want to explain it to you for our listeners at home, but from left there to right, go. we have birdshot, which is uh, it's a little smaller than a BB, it looks like. Yeah, there, mm-hmm. um, there's a bunch of them. Then there's a BB shot, which is if anybody's ever had a BB gun, mm-hmm. and the size of a BB. Buck, which looks like it's maybe about uh, twice the diameter of a buck 
or of a BB shot. Mm-hmm. That's and probably double lot. That's probably double, double lot being buck, double. And then you have single lot. And yeah. then a slug is just literally the entire diameter of the inside of the casing. And then uh, there's two slugs. There's one that looks like a tapered in and one that has a kind of a blunt end, like so, a flat nose. Mm-hmm. One's probably for rifled shotguns. The other one's for uh, smooth bore shotguns. Yeah, I can see the one on the right, the slug. It, it almost looks like it has some sort of like angles on it, maybe mm. to help it right. spin inside of the barrel. So one of the nice things also about that G-Force and some other security semi-auto shotguns that we have in the store mm-hmm. right now, we have them on sale. Mm, That's yes. true. And so if somebody's wanting a security shotgun, they can come in and we have... Uh, the GTS, we have the Citadel, we have the G-Force. Uh, we have some bullpup shotguns are also on sale, some SDS yeah. shotguns. Yeah, so we have a pretty We have good a bunch selection. on sale, and we're open to offer. So you come in, you see one you want, tell us the price you're willing to pay, we'll, we'll work with you. Heck yeah, man. What was the one that you were telling them that we had uh, some of? Was it the, the one that we shot today? Yeah. This That's right here? The G-Force. Is that the one yeah. that we had, we had a few of? Oh, we have yeah. a bunch of these. Okay. We have plenty to go around. So if you're looking for one, come in. Yeah. And uh, we'll hook you up with one. One nice thing I want to mention about this and shotguns of this nature. But we should let folks know those things aren't going to last long. No. So if they're interested, no, it's for, time for sure. Time to move on. And yeah. you're going to want to get hop on this train before um, turkey season, which yeah, is season. pretty coming much up right in, around the corner. Coming up next in like a month or two. Yeah. So you're going to need to hop on this soon. Mm-hmm. But one thing I wanted to point out is that guns like this this style have ar style controls so if you're used to an ar the controls are almost identical well, let's show them what they what you so mean so like mag explain. release okay it's right on where the side. An, right where an ar would be mm-hmm. you have a bolt release oh okay. right where an ar would be right here yeah, yeah. safety safety selector is very similar mm-hmm. almost identical and so if it's you're got used the pistol grip a pistol grip so if you're used to an ar it would, it's pretty much identical in terms of ergonomics. Yeah, I mean, it's controls. like, let's say it's 85% the mm-hmm. same. It's close enough that if you've never shot one of these, you'll be extremely familiar yeah. out of the gate. Out I'd of say the, the gate action is the only thing that's really different, mm-hmm. you know, instead of the... the yeah, the it's top the gas system pull and whatnot, but yeah. And uh, it had a side one, kind of like an AK lever. Yeah, which, which for shotguns, you're going to want a side one. The uh, charging handle for uh, 12 gauges aren't typically the best way to do it another really good thing about a shotgun if you're thinking about home security a friend of mine came in the store and Mm -hmm. she said i want to buy a gun for home security i said okay what kind of pistol do you want she goes oh no i don't want a pistol i want a shotgun i don't want Mm -hmm. no pistol because you have to go out and practice with a pistol with a shotgun really you don't have to practice Mm -hmm. you get familiar with the gun and -hmm. you point the gun in the direction and you pull the trigger. I, I always like to tell people when they say stuff like that, you don't want the first time that you fire this thing. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. To I be, agree. I, to be uh, those situations. I now, do you have to have as precise fine motor skills with a shotgun as you do with a handgun? No. no. Handguns are far harder to use than a shotgun or yeah. even an AR, just how you hold them and how you aim with them. But you still, you, you're still want to, gonna want to get training and practice. Absolutely, with it. because you can still, even though you have a better chance of hitting with a shotgun, you can still miss with a shotgun, mm-hmm. and it's a lot harder to recover from the recoil of a shotgun than it yeah, is like an AR. Or it'll a set you back. It was bumping my shoulder pretty good today. So you're like Trevor was saying, make sure that it's not the fr- when you need to use it is not the first time you picked up the shotgun. Right. Also, we'll be get- right back. We'll talk more about that when we get back on the Gun Shop Show. Oh yeah, boy. People are always asking me, Eli, you seem to get the best deals on things. What is your secret? Old really- glory actions and estate sales. Trevor, I appreciate you jingling, but I have to say the ad part first uh-huh. um, because people need to know oh. about the company. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do that. And it. then also, it's okay. the whole, it's covering up my yeah. face. So right. um, just, okay, just get together. a picture like from their okay. Facebook page because yeah, that's the best one here. place. And then just put it right up here where the Gun Shop Show logo okay. is. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll do better. This and time. then, uh, and so let me finish the ad, and then you can jingle, okay? Okay. All right. So uh, the best place to go is their Facebook page. Oh, glory actions and estate sales. You know what? Fine. I'll just move in between the graphics and finish telling people that the best place to find out when oh, old glory glo- actions 
and estate sales. I think I got it that time, man. Land is everything to me. Uh, when I was born, I was brought home to the family farm, uh, was raised, learned work ethic there, learned uh, appreciation and respect for life and the land itself, and it just became second nature. I had to be there all the time. Whenever I wasn't on the land, I was not happy. But I learned to understand the land, learned to respect it, you know, learned family values. You know, my wife and I have bought a farm uh, besides the one we live on, and uh, it has just been a, it's been a great investment, and it's been some place that my son and I have shared the passion of hunting together, and you know, it's just it uh, you know, land has been you know land has been everything in my life. It is kind of kept me focused and, and uh, gave me a place to be. It's kind of kept me grounded. Hey, you know what makes this, the gun shop show, possible? It's people who believe in the show. And someone who has believed in the show from the very beginning is my good friend Chris Chapman, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. Here's a message from Chris. Guys, uh, my name is Chris Chapman, uh, owner of Whitehead Farm Supply. And I just want to take a few seconds here to let you know that we are going to be uh, proud sponsors of the gun shop show. And uh, we, we appreciate everything that them guys are doing over there and we just want to show them our support. Thank you. So whether you have two chickens or 2,000 acres, Chris is your man. Give him a call. I guess that's pretty much the ad. Whitehead Farm Supply. Seriously? Always. I'm Lulu, and I watch the gun shop show because all the fellers are handsome. Welcome back to the gun shop show. We're giving away a $100 gift card to Liberty Tree Guns, and I would really mm -hmm. appreciate it if you would share and tag five friends to get entered into wins. That helps you out. That helps us out. It's a win-win. I'd say it's a win-win. I'd almost say it's a win-win. Win. Win, win, mm -hmm. winner. Yeah. Because there's dinner. no easier to, way to get a $100 Liberty Tree gift card for free than sharing the sh sharing the feed I'm and glad, tagging I'm glad five you friends. Threw in that for free thing. Yeah, you, you could come in and pay a hundred. You could come in, and drop a hundred dollar bill, get this right for now a dollar gift card for a hundred dollar. That might be bill, easier, but, but it's not free. Exactly. Well, I mean, if they're watching right now, it's like five seconds. Where can you make a hundred dollars per five seconds of your life? Unless you're like that's basically uh, like twelve Jeff Bezos or something twelve hundred dollars an hour. Patrick man. Mahomes. Okay, or, guys, you and your sorry. <laughs> yep. yeah, where else? Yeah, oh, they're like, you know what? I'm tired of this push and share and tagging five <laughs> friends. I'm joining the NFL. <laughs> that's all it takes. Yeah, if you don't want to share and tag five friends, join the NFL. They'll hook yeah. you up or yeah. start Amazon or yeah, start Amazon. Easy. What other guns were you looking at here today, folks? What else do we shoot? It said something about so. pump. Yeah, we shot. Pom, pom. Oh, yeah, we didn't shoot this, but it, but we can show it. Pom, 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 pom. Oh, we didn't shoot that. Is that the four-barrel one? Oh, what was that one underneath it, though? We and, can talk about it. And how come we didn't take that out? Because we shot it before. Oh. So here we have a Steven Security 20-gauge. It has a pistol grip. It's more designed for home defense. This one happens to be a 20-gauge. We took it out for whatever reason. I thought it was a 12-gauge. But we didn't have any 20 gauge, so we weren't able to shoot it. But it's a 20 gauge designed for home defense. You have your pistol grip, safety. It's a pump, so it's more traditional. And you have a short, I believe, 18 and a half inch barrel. So this would be fantastic for home defense. And if you if you're kind of skeptical of semi autos, you've never shot a semi auto before, and you're you're leaning more towards a traditional pump action, this would be a fantastic choice because you're still getting that short length, that pistol grip, all those features you want in a home defense shotgun in a more traditional pump action package. So when I was young, I started hunting with, my dad had a pump shotgun. Mm -hmm. Well, I started with a single shot. Then I started using a pump. And one of the reasons is because you cannot shoot as many shells as quickly with a pump as mm -hmm. you can with a semi-auto. Yep. And so... You know, that's one of the things about a pump. It's a good 
shotgun to to learn on Mm -hmm. and that's what that's also what i learned on too my first shotgun was a mossberg 500 and it was a longer barrel it was a pump action i still have it actually and it's incredible it's been reliable this entire time and that's kind of that's kind of the nice thing about pump action shotguns you don't have to worry about something cycling your gun for you for you you are the action and so it's as reliable as you are for the most part which is nice especially for a home defense shotgun where that shot can mean your life and getting that next shot off and ready can mean your life they also have the extra added functionality of that sound of mm-hmm. racking that uh, is almost as powerful and uh, uh, universally known. And demoralizing. Um, yeah. So if someone breaks into your house and they hear, <laughs> you at least get a third or mm-hmm. an additional option to ward them off before you actually have to pull the trigger. And that's not saying that everybody breaks into your house. They're going to run as soon as they hear it. But mm-hmm. I'm telling you, people know that sound. If you live in America and you ever turn on your TV, you know the sound of a pump action See, being... <laughs> Guaranteed. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do that mm-hmm. because if I'm going to have a firearm for home defense, I'm going to keep it loaded yeah. somewhere safe. Right. And so if I were to do that, you'd hear, and then a shell hit the ground. Right. Yeah. yeah. Which is not what you want. Otherwise, it's no. just, it, it's me holding the gun, making the noise with my mouth. Right. right. The like, safety clicking off. Uh, I'm like, they're like, uh, did you do it with your mouth? I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's already loaded. I, I didn't that could wanna... be your alarm system, dude. <laughs> yeah. Some of you your alarm, another, you just hear. It's another one of them polite criminals, you uh-huh. know, like the two rounder, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. They popped out two rounds. Mm. Better get out of here. He made that sound with his mouth, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> this guy means business. He's yeah. making mouth gun sounds. <laughs> if you've never heard our theme song, it features that very sound. Of, no, uh, I, I mean, if I walked into the house and I was thinking about doing something bad or illegal or robbing the place and mm-hmm. the guy made the shotgun noise with his mouth <laughs> and i'm like uh you do it with your mouth and he's like well the shotgun's already loaded i'd be like <laughs> yeah you, you know what a, you're doing you're really defend- warning. you're really defending your home i'm gonna mm-hmm. get out of here real quick if you well, don't mind mind over matter man you gotta you gotta win the uh, battles with your that, mind before you have that to drives me matter. crazy in movies when it's like a horror movie or a, pretty much any movie involving guns mm-hmm. and the good guy's about to creep up on the bad guy or vice versa and then and then they have to load the round like they weren't ready the entire time. Yeah. I absolutely hate that. It drives well, me nuts. I, you know, it, for f- folks out there, there are folks that do that. They don't load or chamber in until they need it. I've seen, you know. But I've how seen, do you know when you need it until you need it? Well, the idea is you're reaching for it, so you know you need it, and you just practice for that. I'm not trying to defend folks who do that. I'm just telling you that there are folks that do that, and I know this because I've seen products no, geared towards for that. For sure, like, there are folks that do that. Yeah. But if you don't have to, I would say don't do that because that that second, two seconds, three seconds it takes you to cycle that round into your gun will be your life. It could be. I Guaranteed. mean, seconds do matter. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you are correct about that, but uh, still, there are going to be people that are going to be doing that. So, mm-hmm the pump yeah is this one being a security mm-hmm. isn't uh as quite as stylish looking but you can get you know wood grips mm-hmm. wood stock mm-hmm. butt stock did somebody see wood and, <laughs> and uh it, they look like traditional shotguns you know this one is a 20 gauge and we didn't really talk a whole lot about that no. the difference between 20 and 12 gauge uh, i personally I'm a 20 gauge guy. Oh, yeah. I don't like the recoil of a 12 gauge because you have a larger shell, you yeah. have more powder, you're going to get more recoil, more kick, more kick from a 12 gauge than you will a 20. So I'm, you know, I've got tender shoulders and so I, I like my 20 gauge. Mm-hmm. I, I appreciate you saying that. I especially appreciate you saying um, 20 gauge guy as opposed to 20 gauge man because no man shoots a 20 gauge. Okay, it's all 12 gauge. I'm just kidding. (laughs) No, (laughs) I appreciate the lower recoil of a 20 gauge for sure, especially if I'm skeet shooting or something like that, and I'm going to be shooting all day. 12 gauge does wear on you after a while. Now, there's some guys out there that can shoot it all day. That's just not me. I appreciate Alan's uh, sensitive shoulder because it's really comfy to cry on. It is. I said said tender. Oh, tender (laughs) shoulder. So Not sensitive. Completely different. (laughs) Completely different. Yeah. Yeah. Not sensitive. It's tender. (laughs) Either 12 gauge or 20 gauge will work fantastic for home defense. Yes. So you can't go wrong with either. It just depends on how much recoil and how much firepower you want, really. So why don't you grab this other pump that we have here on the wall behind you? Logan and and show them this one. This is the, is that the four barrel one? No, it's, 
Two, two barrel? It's got it's a double barrel pump. And we fired that thing? Yeah, we did. Yeah. I guess I don't remember. I think we fired I think we fired it with Lulu. Yeah. But uh, here it is. It is she'll the, let us know. It's the D P twelve. And the reason this is pretty cool is besides being a bull pup, so the action being behind the grip yeah, yeah. here, it has two barrels. What do you? Look it looks right like there. a four barrel, mm-hmm. but I understand. So you why got two barrels, two tubes below that that'll hold your shells. So if I'm going to flip it over here okay. like this, and g- kind of get that angle in into there. Actually, I want this side. Yeah, no, I want this side. I want you got it. I want this side. The so right slots. here. Click, click. No, over here. Boom. Right here. Boom, boom. Now, those are your tubes. Mm-hmm. So you're going to load it like that. So you're going to have it shouldered like so. You're going to flip it over, load, load. Now, the cool thing about this is, and I made sure this wasn't loaded before we did any of this, just letting you guys know, is that it's cool slash unique slash it, it takes a while to get used to. It loads two rounds at once. And before you can load the, another round after firing, you have to fire both barrels. Yeah. So twice. So it's two so trigger you, pulls. So you you load it, you boom, boom, two trigger pulls, and then you can recock and load those other two rounds. Yeah, pretty neat overall. Um, and I'd have to shoot it again to know for sure whether or not I remember even caring for that particular firearm. But it's novel. I mean, been seeing an increasing amount of double barrel mm-hmm. guns lately. We had well, a double barrel th- AR this is, here too. This is, I mean, this manufacturer is the king of double barrels. Are it's they? standing manufacturing. They had the Gilboa, oh, yeah. which is well, a double the barrel thunderstruck. AR. Thunderstruck double mm-hmm. barrel uh, revolver. This DP12 double barrel shotgun. Niche. They and, found their niche. And what's the what's the shorter shells? Mini Logan? shells. The mini shells. Mini so shells. this the pump will cycle those mini shells, mm-hmm. so you can actually get. I think. So uh, right now, I think it holds fifteen. I think it holds twelve rounds, yeah. six in each tube. Mini shells. You're probably looking at eight rounds, so sixteen. So you get four more rounds right. on the gun shop show. I was so early on the gun shop show. <laughs> wow, <laughs> calling yourself out. We all know that you are more than within your right to shoot an intruder that is in your home. However, what if you do everything right and once the smoke clears, the situation is not quite as it seemed? Well, that is exactly what happened to fellow member Isabella in this story. So I just put my house in the market because I wasn't living in a good neighborhood and my home had been broken into before. One night, my realtor called and asked to show my home at 6.30. I thought, yeah, this is perfect, I'll go to the gym. When I got home around 8.15, I set the alarm and jumped in the shower. About five minutes later, the alarm went off. I rushed out of the shower to grab my gun. As I turned the corner, a man was standing near my front door in all black. I repeatedly yelled at him, leave or I'll shoot. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone else dart in front of him. He turned towards me. So I shot. Suddenly, I realized the second person was my realtor. The truth is, you never know how events will unfold. Isabella was not criminally charged, but shortly after she faced a civil lawsuit. With the help of U.S. Law Shield, Isabella was advised through the whole legal process and paid zero attorney's fees. Remember, criminals never take a vacation. Be armed, stay educated, and get protected with U.S. Law Shield. The Gun Shop Show, brought to you by Little Old Ladies. They're little. Welcome back to the Gun Shop Show. We're giving away this gift card. Before we do that, we need to announce the winner of last week's gift card. Who was you that? You guys ready for this? I you am, guys ready dude. For this? Drum roll. Drum roll, please. <laughs> And I'm going to butcher this last name completely, so I do want to apologize, but the winner is Cheryl Waldbuser. Yay! Waldbuser? Cheryl. Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl, you're the winner. Um, I apologize for It'll be in the show name. notes. Uh, um, but I am terrible in that. Hey, terrible. why don't you do us a favor and show that name on screen? Sure. 
I mean, I guess I could do that. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be uh, better. For I just have it. to. I just got to find the document here. So the document. It'll only be a couple of seconds, and I'm sure. Oh, that's not. Yeah, want, that's want, not going to work. We here. want. We I'm want. pretty good at. I'm pretty good at reading names. What about, what so I, like I was going to give it a shot. But like no, this? you can't nope. read yeah. that at all. Nope. No, oh, not even a little bit. Maybe you should. Nope. No. Not good. Um, here we go. I've got. It. I'm pulling it up here. Cool. Um, it's Cheryl Waldbuser. Waldbuser. Mm-hmm. Not Gary Busey, but no. Sherry Waldbuser. No, Gary Busey has not shared any. Gary stuff. Busey is no longer allowed at Liberty Tree Guns. Not you know after, what you did, Gary not after Busey? What happened last time. Not what you. Now you know. You know. No. That's so, not. Yeah. What, Let's talk about the little competition. We yeah, had. so we had a little oh, compi. A little competition. We, we thought, you know, what the Olympics are going on. Mm-hmm. We're into guns. The you Olympics guys are like, guns. you guys are like, crush me in competition, Trevor. And I'm like, it's a holiday. Yeah, I was like, I'll Trevor, crush me, Trevor. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we decided to have a little competition, a little yeah. ski shooting competition. Uh, we got, we had five clay pigeons per person. Mm-hmm. Two yeah. guns. It was a two gun competition. Two guns. You get. Five rounds between those two guns. You got to see how many targets you can hit. Yep. That's I have we to did. say, I may not have done as well shooting, but mm-hmm. I looked good. Out oh, there. dude! Don't, oh my gosh! I you look, won no. the fashion award. Yeah. You are now. Don't act like you didn't hit all the targets twice. Well, yeah, but I, Alan, I just, you are now the fashion. I was wearing my patriotic. Mm-hmm. You're now shirt part of the fashion there. ATF. Oh, mm-hmm. fashion ATF. Yeah. Okay. They're that fashion. No, guys, I talked to the oh, nicest. Promotion. I talked to the nicest ATF person the other day. That's it, nice. It blew me Judy? away. Judy was that her name? Judy Joyce. Well, I was going to say it on the air. Oh. Well, I don't know her last name. But she was the nicest ATF lady, and it just it just reminded me that even though we have problems with the ATF. They're people too. Well, yeah, they're people. They're and, people too, and, and we need to remember that. They, I guarantee Even you, if they take forever on my taxes. They hands. probably hate their job and don't want to be that guy, but got to earn a living, you know? That's true. Yeah. Somebody out there doing the dirty work I all just, the time. I can just see them now, you know, waking up in the morning and getting their coffee and mm-hmm. time to make the ATF rules, mm-hmm. you know, kind of like the old Dunkin' Donuts guy. Right. Yeah. Time to enforce you know, the rules. Time to enforce the rules. Head I wouldn't want to work door, in the half asleep. I mean, yeah. have you ever worked at a place and you're like, well, this is real stupid? But you have to go along with well, it anyway. Yeah, especially in those jobs. It, it's probably it worse. Everywhere. I mean, in the yeah. military, you have no choice. You're under threat of mm-hmm. uh, of uh, legal action if you don't do what you're told. Yeah. Let's roll anyway, this. back to the competition. Yeah. Where yeah. did we go with it? That was crazy. It's right here. Let's do it. Boom. Two. Swap out. There you go. A little swap skis. It's easy 1012 there. Oh, yeah, it's had safety on. You missed that one. That one counted against you. Boom. Miss. I, I think you hit that one. Hard Miss. to tell. Yeah. Two for five. Two for five. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's re- rewind that. I, well, let's go back to Alan and keep it on him real quick. Oh, uh, there uh, we go. This, you talking about that, Glory? Yeah, but pause it. Let's just talk about that outfit. Yeah. That screams America. Uh-huh. And I'm all for it. That's yeah. Bless America. You might have mm-hmm. only hit two out of five, but that's 10 out of 10 outfit. Do you me. know, even though I count two, four, six, eight stars on there, mm-hmm. there's only really one star. And that's Alan Snow. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you, guys. He's the star. So out of the competition, I would say 12 out of 15. Nice. Okay. Two out of five. Yeah, play I'll, pigeon. T- I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> 12 10 out of 10. Somebody's going to win a medal. Yeah. <laughs> We haven't even announced that. You ready to roll yours? Yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's do this. So serious. He's basically the John Wick of the dance school. We were going to do some action here. We decided not to do the action. Yeah. And Trevor's like, we didn't do anything. Three. All right, so that was good stuff. All right, that one doesn't count, but... No matter how many I hit, I still win. Because I, I already said it. You're a winner in my heart. <laughs> I think I got that one. Yeah, I got that one. Nailed that it. One, I, yeah, I got that one. I think you actually did get the second one for got sure. Both, yeah. Got both of those. Make sure you take that safety off. I got it. I'm on it, dude. I only, that only gets me once per time. Got that one, too. 
Uh, Oops, we didn't looks, switch over. You look so serious. Yeah, I was you seriously smoked. The last awesome. one, the last one was dust. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. fantastic. Oh, I'm, you're talking about the clay pigeons. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's let's transition back over to you and pause it real quick. Oh, you want to see this? Uh, uh-huh. uh, you want to see that? Oops. Yeah. yeah it pause it right there. Perfect. Uh, nope. Or here. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pause it right there. You gonna? Okay. So two out of five clay pigeon. I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> I'm trying to find a better freeze frame. No, it's, it's fine. That looks great. Yeah. Two out of five clay pigeon without Liberty Tree Jurassic Park shirt, which uh-huh. is available on the gun shop show. Oh, yeah, it is. Click shop at the top. It'll yeah. be there. Just order it. They're mm-hmm. fantastic. They feel they're so soft. Dude, these are the good kind they're of so shirts. so soft and comfortable. These aren't the gild and uh, no one half, talks about that, half cut shirts. We have some really no, you're right. No <laughs> one does talk about that. <laughs> they need to. OK, these new shirts are softer, mm-hmm. they're more comfortable, they fit you better, they're wins all the way around. Let's just say that these shirts, they hug you, the other ones, they'll cut you. Okay, Ooh, guys? Holy crap. They'll cut you. I went there. And what I'm talking about is the, but the bad shirts. I, I wasn't able to judge your your thing before. Oh, you want Yeah. I was, I was going to give you a Sorry, score. dude. Sorry. Yes. Here, hang on. I got to okay. get to the end again. There we go. Because everyone wants to know. So uh-huh. two out of five clay pigeons. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That outfit. That's a solid eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mm-hmm. What did what did uh, uh, Alan get again? It's ten out of ten. Ten out of ten because of just yeah. how American. Oh, because of the America thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I just went Liberty Tree. Or, yeah, ten out know, of fifteen. Liberty. Ten out of fifteen. I'll take it. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Pretty good. Are you ready for your? Uh, yeah. I don't oh, we already did you. We didn't. We rate did, me but though. we didn't rate no. your clothes. Let's go ahead and rate. Yeah, let's rate your clothes. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> He's worn it a lot, guys. It's starting mm-hmm. to fade on it him. Is. I'm going to give him... I'm sorry. I'm going to be the jerk. Uh-huh. Um, you're getting a rotten tomato score of 30. Mm-hmm. 30%. Out of 10? Yeah. So that's three. Yeah, I'm giving you a three on that. You're pretty yeah. generous Oh, you give me a three? Yeah. That's what 30% I think, is. I think but we need he to... Hit, he hit five out of five. Well, no, I know, but that's where he won. Of, he hit seven out of eight. I didn't that's realize true. we were competing on dress wear, so I didn't come accordingly. Yeah. Okay. I'm well, I dress for as success. far as shooting clay pigeons, uh huh. in third place, tied for... Th- I guess it's tied for second, technically, correct? Second. Tied for second, Trevor Smith and Alan Snow with two out of five. Mm-hmm. But the winner is. But the winner is. Undisputed. In first place, with five out of five, it's me, Jones! Logan Jones. I'm your winner. Thank you. Thank you so much. I tried so hard to be here. I practiced so hey, much. Hey, Logan, since, since, you won, yep. since you won the Liberty Tree gold medal, what are you? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You going to Disneyland? I'm going to McDonald's. Going to McDonald's. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm going to have some sushi at Sakura in Japan. Oh, what nice. about some sushi at Sushi Furious? Mm. Oh, I could do some Sushi Furious. We should start talking about this sushi restaurant as if it exists. We should. Sushi and Furious. Really build the hype. Yeah, Sushi Furious has the best sushi I have, in I Missouri, at least, mm-hmm. that I know of. I now, almost say worldwide, yeah, but... Well, I haven't tried Coast Sushi, you know, the freshest sushi, so I don't uh-huh. know. Yeah, you I know. haven't had Coast Sushi either. Yeah. But who knows? So we got this one last video that mm-hmm. we should play, and this is Logan trying to continue his uh, dominance of yes. as, never missing. As, mm-hmm. a re- as a reminder, mm-hmm. the winner of the gold medal, the American that won the gold medal at mm-hmm. the Olympics, mm-hmm. shot... 199 out of 200. Correct. Right. Okay. So Logan so wanted to at least match, if not beat that. Yes. Yes. And Correct. we had enough clays, right? Right. Yes. How yeah. many did we came with? How many were in a box? 500. Oh, yeah. We had because 200. I was going for gold. Yeah. yeah. Nothing less than that. Here we mm-hmm. go. Yeah. So I'm five for five, but we decided to see how far I can keep going before I miss. I'm going to try to do 195 more in a row. That's 200. So I can be in the Olympics. That makes you an Olympic gold medalist. That's, that's it. That's all it takes. Just 200 in a row. Ready? Set. That's six. Oh. And that's seven. Okay. Let's load back up. Load. Oh, no. And I just lost the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, that made yeah, because you only got so much time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Ready? That may jinx you there. Oops. There was. Oh, uh, that was terrible. Broke the streak. I actually don't even need to look. I mean, obviously, I just do this. He didn't need to look, but nope. 
Uh, yeah. He did, and but, I, I but he missed. He made seven in a after row after seven. So what? Technically, we uh-huh. could have kept going. I could have tied for first. You could have. You, you could. still had a hundred and ninety-two to go. Yeah, yeah. To tie. Yeah. But maybe, maybe yeah. next time. It's okay. We'll get him next maybe time. But we're gonna keep time. training. Mm-hmm. We got these throwers. We're gonna yeah, keep. I'll training. be there before you know it. You'll see me. Legitimately I'm gonna wear, speaking, I'm gonna Logan, wear my medal. You probably could train for something like that. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, you'd rather just. I mean, work I at a guess. Gun store. I guess Liberty Tree Guns could sponsor me. Could be. Yeah, we could work some out. Take it all the way but to the top. Thanks for joining us. It has been a good time talking about shotguns and a bunch of random stuff. Keep ship and stay with us. <laughs> keep Words. ship and stay with keep us. Keep stay with us <laughs> always on the Gun Shop Show. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we are every time. Good. Yeah, what's up, Alan? I said see ya. Oh, you're gonna see me. Oh, bye, Alan. Bye on the good. Bye, Logan. Bye. Hey. Bye, viewers. Bye. On bye. the Gun Shop bye. Show. Bye, Alan. Bye, bye. On, the, bye. on the Gun Shop Show. I've been drinking coffee on the Gun Shop Show. Nom, 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 nom. I'm gonna check my phone on the Gun Shop. I have to show. say caffeinated. Otherwise, uh, I'm not. I'm gonna go take a look at that. Look out! I want an American black T-shirt. Now. Hey, get so, it, do it. Don't we have an American black Liberty T-shirt? We do. Should have worn. Should have worn. Should have worn. Uh huh. But I can only wear it on Fourth of July. It seems like something that I'll you would you buy what, from like a tourist uh-huh. shop. I'll tell you what it's true. Maybe Kohl's. Freedom!